While the Queen flew to Newfoundland, ships were ploughing the well-known route across the North Atlantic to the St Lawrence. For them, the ocean voyage may nowadays be only half their journey. The St Lawrence leads to an inland Mediterranean, shared by Canada and America. From the mouth of the Great River to the most inland port is about the same distance as across the Atlantic, over 2,000 miles. Thanks to the great new system of locks and canals built in the International Rapids section of the river, the St. Lawrence Seaway, already in operation, gives direct access to the Great Lakes for ocean-going ships. A minimum depth of 27 feet throughout the 180-mile stretch between Montreal and Lake Ontario has been obtained. And in their inland journey through the locks, the ships are lifted 240 feet. The seaway took nearly five years of non-stop work and the expenditure of about 130 million pounds, quite apart from the hydroelectric scheme. A dream come true, the St. Lawrence Seaway ready for its official opening by the Queen. Gone are the days of transferring cargoes at Montreal. Now there's a two-way traffic for big liners and freighters all the way between the Atlantic and the Great Lakes. All the way to such ports as Toronto, Cleveland, Detroit, Milwaukee and Chicago. Indeed, after the opening ceremonies, the Queen herself was travelling to Chicago in Britannia. The Republic of 